Andrew Jackson famously said, Americans are not a perfect people, but we are called to a perfect mission, like storming the beaches of Normandy, like stepping foot on the moon, like taking out bin Laden. Well, here's another man on a mission, Joe Biden. His mission isn't to stop inflation, crime, or migration. The mission is to stop Trump. Would you be running for president if Trump wasn't running? I, I expect so, but look, he, he is running, and I just I have to run. Would you drop out if Trump runs out? No. Biden just admitted he's too old for this. If the Democratic bench wasn't so thin, he'd retire and sniff hair. Plus, only Joe Biden knows how to use the FBI and the CIA during an election. But later, Biden realized he'd made Kamala look bad. So he changed his mind. Do you think there is any Democrat who could defeat Donald Trump other than you? Only 50 of them. You do believe that there are? I'm not the only one to read it, but I will defeat him. Who else do you think could defeat Donald Trump, Mr. President? Biden knows, you know, the only way to beat Trump is if he doesn't campaign. That's how we beat him the last time. Hide out and let big tech do the dirty work. Even Jimmy Fallon gets it. On Saturday night at Madison Square Garden, KISS played their final concert and unveiled new digital avatars of the band that will continue to tour. That's pretty much what the White House is going to do with Biden during next year's campaign. So if Biden does beat Trump, then what? Well, then he resigns and hands Kamala the keys to the White House. That's the plan. Biden isn't running for a second term. He's running to beat Trump and then running away. Biden hasn't articulated a second term agenda. He hasn't laid out a vision for the next four years. Have you noticed that? Democrats just need him to make it one day past the election when they can celebrate the first female president. This is worse than a handoff. This is a bait and switch. But Trump says Biden won't make it. I personally don't think he makes it, okay? I haven't said that. I'm saving it for this big town hall. I've never really... I personally don't think he makes it. I think he's in bad shape physically. Do you remember when he said, I'd like to take him behind the barn? If he took me behind the barn and I went like this... <laughs> I believe he'd fall over. I believe he'd fall over. Who knows? Who knows? I personally don't think he makes it physically. I watched him at the beach. He wasn't able to lift a beach chair, which is meant for children to lift. You can lift him like that. Uh, and mentally, I would say he's possibly equally as bad and maybe worse. So how are the Democrats going to convince you that a guy who can't lift up a beach chair should win re-election? Well, by telling you that the guy who can lift the beach chair will start a civil war. When I look at Trump, here's where I think that all of his supporters should take something into consideration. I think that he's so divisive that he could potentially cause civil war in this country. All right, so the Democrats realized Trump would start World War III wasn't really working because Biden's already led us to the brink. And plus, the Democrats realized nobody really cares about what goes on in other countries here. We just care about what goes on here. And they've been trying to convince you that Trump would destroy democracy. But no one really knows what that means. So they settled on a new hoax. And it's a good one, and you're going to hear it more than Russia collusion for a while, so brace yourselves. Trump, if he wins, is never leaving the White House. Trump will be a dictator and will never have another election until he's dead. And then Don Jr. becomes president. Sorry about that, Eric. So at last night's town hall, of course, Hannity had to ask him about it. You are promising America tonight you would never abuse power as retribution against anybody. Except for day one. Yeah. Except Look, what? He's going crazy. Except for day one. Meaning? I want to close the border and I want to drill, that's drill, not a, that's, drill. That's not, no, no. that's not retribution. I got I'm going to be, I'm going to be, you know, he keeps... We love this guy. He says, you're not going to be a dictator, are you? I said, no, 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 other than day one. We're closing the border, and we're drilling, drilling, drilling. After that, I'm not a dictator. So that... <laughs> it's only dictatorship for one day, guys. He'll just sit and sign executive orders like Biden did, remember? On day one, they hand Biden a pen, and he signs a gazillion executive orders. He has no idea what's in them. 
Remember, he opens the border and he kills the Keystone Pipeline on day one. So Trump's going to do the opposite. He's going to close the border and he's going to drill baby drill on day one. Trump knows exactly what he's doing. He's teasing the press and they just took the bait. This is what's so dangerous about what Trump just said. Not that it was new, right? Yep. Imagine, you know, a Jeffrey Dahmer, a serial killer. You never have a serial killer out on the street and say, hey, you're going to kill again. It's like only day one. I'll, I'll only eat people on day one. Then after that, I promise you can trust. And this is clearer than Mein Kampf, right? This is clearer than what Adolf Hitler laid out in Mein Kampf. It's much clearer than what he did. Adolf Hitler was at least sense enough not to say these things explicitly to what he was going to do on day one. He just did it on day one. Look how unhappy these people look. MSNBC needs to relax. And don't you dare laugh at Trump's jokes. They aren't funny. There is a sickness among, unfortunately, some of our fellow Americans regarding authoritarianism and totalitarianism. They want it mm -hmm. because, Willie, when he promised that he would be a dictator on day one, he got applause. Well, and that's Even on before, Fox News. And make no mistake of it, a large chunk of those people in that audience cheering when Donald Trump said, I'll be a dictator on day one, well, they want that. So Democrats clap for the guy who arrests his opponent, fires you for not getting vaxxed, tells you a car to drive, wants to censor you and take your guns. Okay. And does anybody think Trump's organized enough to be a dictator? He never mobilized the National Guard to stop the riots. He never locked up Hillary. He let every governor do what they wanted during COVID. And do dictators even play golf? But what the Democrats are doing is sinister. When you slap a dictator label on a politician, it's a wink and a nod to Antifa. Or the guy who showed up to Kavanaugh's house, armed and dangerous. But Trump's going to have so much fun with this dictatorship hoax. Watch him start wearing a crown. And this is just like a slick way also of calling you deplorable, you dirty little dictator lover. Hillary's going to have to do a lot of deprogramming. But like every hoax, this is going to backfire. Liberals are so stupid the way that they handle Trump. What you do know? you mean? You should shut up. What, He's a narcissist. Neutral energy. Yeah, you, no think he'd, Trump. you think he'd go away? If you know what I think he was? I think he was a one-hit wonder, Uh huh. right? He wrote the twist, uh -huh. and then that was it. He was on the casino circuit, and then you yeah. idiot liberals wrote him twist again yeah. when you indicted him. And yeah. now he's a martyr. And now he's, he's coming back, Jimmy. <laughs> but remember the guy who Biden said, if you don't vote for me, you ain't black, Charlemagne the God? Well, even he now admits Trump might be a dictator, but there's someone worse. Let's get right to the good news. Uh, Donald Trump is definitely not going to be president again. The bad news is because he's going to be dictator. That sounds bad, but don't forget, <laughs> don't forget, we still have Joe Biden standing between him and the White House. <laughs> yeah, so it's actually even worse. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.